Today, our adventures fishing in the marshes of Charleston led us to a place that we hadn't been before, the headwaters of the Wando River. And on this trip, we experienced everything that saltwater fishing in the marsh provides. From constantly changing variables, from the wind to the weather to the tides, to unpredictable fishing, going from catching very little fish to the big redfish I'd been targeting all day. Honestly, getting to fish in Charleston is an absolute privilege, especially when you have a day like I had today. Oh gosh. Yeah, that dock just got smoked. You know when you're golfing and they say that trees are 90% air? I think that applies to docks as well. So if you just like throw at them and assume that like you're gonna make it through, look at that cast, like that's 100%, 90% air. That was an absolute beauty of a cast though. So. We'll do one more, then we'll keep moving. So right now I'm going between spots. I'm going to a different set of docks, but Honestly, no fish so far, no real action, but it's honestly a gorgeous morning, like perfect wind, perfect weather. I'm about to get swamped by this boat, but <laughs> gorgeous weather. Oh, that's such a bad. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I literally just threw that as a joke. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> I'm recording. Good. <laughs> I just threw that out there to just get my line out of the way, let it sit to the bottom. And yep, I guess there's a speck sitting right on the other side of that dock. All right. Well. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. I'm counting that. I'm counting that 100%. I don't care. I didn't touch the fish. I'm counting that. I needed. I need to count that for my sanity. Oh my gosh. It's just been one of those type of days, but that's all right. So speaking about the unpredictable variables, today I was absolutely battling the current and the wind. But like most days, I was able to stick around just long enough to start catching some fish. And even though I had that big red fish on my brain, I knew it was only a matter of time before I finally got the fish I was looking for. I just had to keep fishing. One tiny redfish, speckled trout, flounder, I mean, whatever I could catch at a time. Fish on, fish on. Staying on the bottom. A little more fight than I thought. Alright, so of course my GoPro died the second I got a little red on, but I think I got the beginning of that fight. Hopefully that video saves. But honestly, felt good to get a second fish here. There you go, folks. Fish number two for the day. Just a little redfish. Nice. Oh yeah, oh that's big. Big, 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 big. Big wake right ahead of me. Let's see if I get this cast good. Oh my god. That's actually pretty solid. Something's out here devouring. Nice fish or something here. Not a great cast, but it'll do. There we go. That was a weird one. He smoked it on the way up. It's back though. Not a giant. Let's actually get him in. It's the last back I didn't get to show y'all because I was messing around with it too much, so. Oh, and I won't get to show that one either. <laughs> wow. All right, well, let's catch another speck because, uh, Wow. 
some reason I just can't keep those babies hooked, which it's 100% my fault. I should just like grab it, pick it up, but uh, nope, 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 not doing that today, I guess. Whatever. Fish on, fish on. Can't tell what it is, doesn't feel huge, but. What is that? A little speck. All right, all right, gotta get this one on the boat. Gotta show you, gotta get this one on the boat. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> can't, can't lose three of these guys. I gotta show y'all at least one speck for the day for the people that haven't seen one, which is probably not a many of you, but whatever. That right there is a speckled trout. Let's get him back. Oh, well, all right, dude. Let's try to do something cool, whatever. So finally, I was able to grab a speckled trout, but I hadn't caught that big redfish I'd been targeting all day. But sneakily throughout the day, I had caught two of the three fish required for an inshore slam. And somehow, on a day like today, I managed to pull off both before my fishing day was done. What's up, fish? <laughs> oh my gosh, a flounder! I didn't even know I had that. Let's go. What did I say? What did I say? I knew I was gonna get a flounder to finish that inshore slam. That thing's tiny too, but all right. Fresh as a fish. Let's go. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> as much as I want to do a grace release on that dude, he did not like me whatsoever. Um, but yeah, there we go. On a very slow day, perseverance is really what got it for us, um, but I'm happy with that. All right, a little deeper in here, there's some pretty insane blow-ups going on, which kind of makes me want to go in a little deeper. But I got like 15% left of my GoPro battery, so I'll probably throw a little bit here and then go in. I mean, I got to do it now if I'm going to do it. Oh my gosh. All right, there's too much action going on in there that I can't miss out on. So I'm gonna start my, making my way in a little bit. So at this point I had like 15% battery left for my GoPro. So I kept turning it off and on, trying to save as much battery as possible. But of course, the second I turn it off, this happens. Didn't have my uh, GoPro on, but oh wow, nice little red here. I felt myself get absolutely thumped, and then a second later, this dude just hit. Which unfortunately, I didn't get that on camera, but. Woo! Definitely a solid fish. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous fish. Look at all those spots. All right, folks, look at that fish. Look at that. It's like seven spots on him. That's a beautiful red fish. Let's get him back in there. Oh, he swam away, buddy. Yeah, he swam away. We're good. It's a little scary at first, but he swam away. All right, I got like 10% left of my GoPro battery, but things are going wild over here. So let's go catch some more fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a giant red ad. So that was way ahead, though. So I don't know if I'll be able to. But... Oh, I had one there. There's a giant overhead. Oh my gosh. He's like tailing up there, too. Okay, I need to keep moving up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going for the big one. Because there's a few little dudes right here, but I'm going to go for that big one. Yeah, so bad, so bad, so bad. Yeah, he's right there. There you go. Right in Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I hate that I'm running out of GoPro battery right now because I could be here all day. Oh my gosh, right behind me. 
that just scared the crap out of me. I'm in the middle of. Holy, golly gosh. So all around me, some really solid fish were going absolutely crazy. And I kept casting them, but I couldn't quite hook them. But of course, again, the second I turn off my GoPro, I finally hook up. Giant, folks, I got a giant. I turned my camera off like a second after. Yeah, that's the big one I was going after. I don't know how big it is. Haven't quite figured that out yet, but definitely a nice fish. For sure a nice fish. Oh yeah, a nice tail too. Oh my. Looks like a solid fish, really does. I'm gonna let him tire out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna let him tire out, then I'll turn this thing back on so we can get a good video of it. Cause like I said, I'm at like 4% right now. Alrighty folks, not exactly the size of fish I thought we caught, but, but, whew. if anything, it's definitely the biggest fish of the day. And honestly, still an absolute gorgeous fish. Oh. Well, there you go, folks. That'll be the last fish of the day for the video. What a beautiful redfish. Probably a good slot. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that blue tail. Nothing better than that. All right, let's get him back. Oh, gosh. <laughs> As today normally goes, not the smoothest release, but after one head bang on the kayak, we let him free. And there you go. A perfect way to end a beautiful day on the water. I think in making this video, I was really grateful not only for this great day of fishing, but also for all the support I've gotten from y'all the past year. I've been at Charleston for about a year now, and I've had countless adventures on the marsh, but the coolest thing is all the people I've met and all the people that have helped me throughout my fishing journey. I just think it's really cool to reflect on everything that I've done, and I just really appreciate all the support I've gotten throughout everything. But the good thing is, we're just at the beginning of our journey. We still got a long ways to go. So anyways, I just want to say thank you, and I'll see you next time.